how to add facebook pixel to shopify hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can add pixels to your shopify store now adding pixels will allow you to track all of the activity happening on your store or on your website so that you can get a better view of what's happening so having said that let's just jump into the video so to add pixels what you'll need to do the simplest way in my opinion is to go to the app store and over here just simply search for facebook and instagram and this is the application that we're looking for facebook and instagram what we'll do is we'll click on it we'll click on add apps wait for a couple of seconds and just simply add the sales channel so this is the sales channels if you won't find it in the app store you'll have to go to the sales channels and you can they're selected directly from there let me just show you that as well so just simply click on sales channels and it should pop up right here and you are good to go then you can go ahead and start setting it up so let's go ahead and click on start setup over here connect your facebook account now in order to do this you will need to have a facebook account facebook business or meta business suite ad manager and all of that now it's called meta business suite you have to have a facebook page as well in order to do all of these things so let's go ahead and click on connect account over here this is the account we'll just simply click on confirm click on allow wait for a couple of seconds and over here you can go ahead and start uh you know selecting these accounts so you can connect your facebook account you can connect your instagram account so right now these two accounts they're not that good because they don't have they haven't have an established presence right now not a lot of followers or activity so we can't use that you could create a new one but i already have this one so we'll just simply click on connect we'll just simply click on select this marketplace there you go click on connect and there we go now over here we need to select the preference so conservative enhanced or maximum it depends on you uh, i'd recommend going with either one of you just make sure you know what you're doing read what it says but in my opinion going with the maximum will give you a bunch of different options so we'll click on save there we go now we already have a few pixels created as you can see right here but you can create a new pixel by clicking on the create new button right here and as you can see as we go along we have these check marks which indicate that we are doing everything correctly so let's go ahead and create a new pixel we'll click on create oops what did i do we already have you know marketplace selected right here so we will be created afterwards so we could click on create new we have selected this we'll click on confirm wait for a couple of seconds agree to the terms and services submit for review and pretty simple after that you should be good to go so over here this may take a couple of minutes but you should be good to go and then you will get a notification that they are reviewing your facebook and sales channels as well click on done and you should be good to go now what you need to do is you need to go ahead and open up another tab and go to business.facebook.com slash settings slash pixels to simply go over here type it in your search bar wait for a couple of seconds and you should arrive over here and you will see the pixel the latest pixel that we have created which is right here so by default it's going to be deactivated you'll have to go ahead and enable it so what you'll have to do is to enable it you'll have to test it out so open up in event manager right here open in an event manager it's going to take you over here to the event manager and over here you can go ahead and set up your pixel so currently it's failed to load because i have ad blocker so make sure you unblock all the ad blockers and then move forward and once you've done that just simply click on test events and under test events just enter in the website you know the url of your website for me it's this is my url and then just simply click on open website and over here you can go ahead and start using your website and this will allow the testing phase to begin so let's go ahead and view some content so let's go ahead and take a look at this ring right here it looks pretty cool it looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and actually select model 2 let's go ahead and add it to our cart let's go ahead and view our cart and let's go ahead and click on checkout i'm obviously not going to buy this but it is what it is but i think this is enough activity let's go ahead and check it out now under test events we can see we have a bunch of different options we can see we have a bunch of different activity going on we have page view added to cart viewed content all of this so as you can see the pixel is actually working and 
for me, uh, I had to wait for a little bit and reload the page. And then I had new activities right here, as you can see. Let me just actually click on continue, continue and get started. And over here underneath pixels, I think it is now activated. Yep. Next, we need to go ahead and verify our domain. For that, we just simply click on aggregated event measurement. Click on configure web events. And over here, you can go ahead and select, you know, your managed domains and you can manage your domain by clicking on over here and over here you can go ahead and add your domain as well right you can create a new domain for your business and you should be good to go for me i've already verified my domain although this is very strange i'm not sure because a couple of months ago when i tried to do this uh, my domain was not verified because this is a subdomain and according to Facebook a subdomain cannot be verified in Facebook business manager but this is very strange I think they might have changed it because now I have two subdomains that are verified very strange but if it works for you you can just simply add the domain over here of your website although this was a previous website that I created a previous store on Shopify as a demo and that's verified so you can just simply click on add over here click on create a new domain add your domain you know right here and then you can go ahead and start uh, verifying it to actually go ahead and verify your domain what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to the website where you actually bought the domain uh go into your purchases and underneath the domain you will have an option called dns and in it you will find that code and you, once you've gotten that code, you can then come over here onto the domain manager over here and you can add that code and your domain will be managed and your domain will be verified. For me, that's this is how I, I did it. For me, I don't know how I got verified with a subdomain, but I guess I was lucky or maybe there was an error. But that is how you verify your own custom domain. So after that, you're good to go. And pretty simple, that's how you do it and once you have actually had a managed you know domain what you'll do is you'll have to click on a managed domain and go into manage events right go into event manager and you will find the event and you will go into the event manager and you will find this option right here click on manage events click on edit although as you can see make sure that your frequent changes can have negatively affect ad delivery so make sure you don't constantly change it make sure you change it once and leave it at that so let's go ahead and click on edit and over here let's go ahead and click on add event you can add up to eight events so over here as you can see highest priority then we can add another event lowest priority you know we can go ahead and add more events to it so over here you can add the pixel right here we'll choose the pixel this was the pixel and then we want to add an event this is going to be the highest priority of events so add payment info or add to cart we will need to select purchase right here we'll select purchase so purchase is going to be the highest you know priority the lowest priority let's select the pixel should be for me lowest priority should be view content and in between you can choose whichever one you want but i'm in my opinion you should go with the precise order so someone viewed the you know content they added it to the wish list or added it to cart and then they added the payment info and then they had a purchase so something like this once that's done you can go ahead and apply it so you have to fill out at least eight i believe slots eight slots let me actually check so something like this yeah you can uh, add up to eight slots you don't have to necessarily fill out eight out of eight you can go so with something like this however you want and then just simply click on apply yes i confirm these and click on apply and boom there you go you successfully changed the events now you're good to go and now you've successfully configured all of the events you've successfully configured your pixel your domain and you've even tested it if it works or not so that's how you do it that's the simplest way to do it so make sure you have an ad manager or you've already created the meta business suite and in it you will get everything else make sure you created everything make sure you have a shopify account a domain and it's very simple let me know in the comment section if it worked out for you or if you ran into a problem or just let me know and i'll be able to help you as well and also if you found this video helpful and educational then be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications 
And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.